This is the moment that every mixed martial arts athlete hopes will materialize the number one heavyweight contender making the walk for his first title fight here in the U.S. I mean, the nerves are going crazy for this man right now. He's so nervous. Has he done everything he needs to do? Has he not left any stone unturned? He says that he has prepared. He says that his body's ready. His mind's ready. He feels physically good in the spot. He's taking on a long-reigning champion. If he's going to get this done, it's going to take something truly special. He does not believe jitters will be a factor here tonight. He has built his career methodically to this point. We'll see if we hear the words and new by Naito. This is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, Chief. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven-foot Kareem Abdul-Jabbar to stay undefeated. Right. If you could do that, you could do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times closely in a match. Just so wise. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Fighters also cannot follow us with ground strikes on the canvas. So if you knock your opponent down, you cannot follow up with strikes. Very important to point that out here at the beginning of round one. Oh, there he goes, attacking that lead leg to the outside. Nasty kick there. Nasty leg kick. You gotta slow down your opponent. He knew his opponent wanted to move a lot tonight. This is the first step in getting them to slow down and fight at your pace. Clean punch. Nasty high kick. How is he still standing? And now Leather being thrown on both sides. I mean, these guys are letting it fly. What a pace that they're fighting at. Defense. Left hook to Fast leg kick lands. Throwing that jab, no good. Well, now these kicks are really starting to pile up since he found his range. This could be trouble. Oh, beautiful jab there by Lee. 
So he lands another counter strike there, all set up by his brilliant job defensively, getting that head off of the center line and using his opponent's aggression against them. Nicely done. These boys are standing right in front of each other, just kind of going at it. Hands higher, hands higher. Big left hook coming in. Just over three minutes to go. Oh, goes to the switch kick and lands. That was masterfully done. It's such a fast action. Oh, Gets back to his feet. Ooh. Nice leg kick. Big right hand. Swing and a miss by Lee. Nice job by him defensively there. Lee's nose is bleeding now, so we'll see how he handles that adversity, but nothing ideal about it here in the middle of this fight. Well, he rocked him, but couldn't finish. He rocked him, he hurt him fast. He could find that one shot to close the door. Could not shut the lights off. And now, Taz is trying to find that shot again. Beautiful jab there by the champ. Oh, and he lands another pinpoint counter. He has done an excellent job seemingly all night, remaining patient, waiting for his opponent to strike first, and timing his counters perfectly. Lee going for the leg kick. He does not connect. Under two minutes to go. Lee gets hit with that hook. He's got to be careful here. Able to find a home for that right hand once again. Swing and a miss with that punch by Lee. All right, so some definite damage underneath the elbow now on the side of his opponent. A lot of strikes to the body starting to start that up. Yeah, a lot of strikes to the body and mixing up the attack. Not being one-dimensional, not headhunting inside the octagon. I, I think he has fought beautifully right now and it's starting to show itself. All right, so perhaps he's going to have to address something defensively. There is a legitimate cut around his eye. Yeah, he got cut on the eye from that last strike. He's got to pay attention now before it gets worse. Under a minute to go. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. That uppercut will work. Oh, good block there. Beautiful body kick. Solid punch, Lansfield. Landed a good uppercut there. Nice job moving off the center line. He slips to avoid that right hand. What a nasty kick. That was only ill intent. Final seconds. All right, so the round is over, and you see the cut man not wasting any time as the fighter makes his way back to the stool. The cut man will try to shut that cut on the bridge of his nose and prevent it from becoming a factor here moving forward. All right, 60 seconds between rounds. That gives us a chance to look at some of the replays from that previous round, including some of the damage sustained on his nose. Yeah, it was a, it was a nice shot that landed that opened up that cut on the nose. Granted, any cut is bad but this one is in a spot where it shouldn't affect him too much what we have to watch though john right, is if right. the nose is broken right then it's hard for him to right. breathe yeah get the blood in that nasal cavity potentially trickles down the throat a little bit i mean fighting just sounds like a really fun <laughs> career right, let's get to the next round big power shot there he looks like pac-man he's taking so many strikes to the head Nice job blocking that punch. Whoa! Well, we got a lot of blood now, ladies and gentlemen. I think my mother just turned off the TV. But every time that area gets targeted, that cut is getting worse and closer, theoretically, to the end of the fight. Yeah, it's, you know, when you got a person like this in front of you, 
that is so good at what they do. When you are bleeding like this and the work is showing, you got to try to find a way to stop them. He needs to try to get a takedown or something because the more he's standing, the more he's going to have to deal with this cut and now all the blood that's coming from the cut. Well, you know this is the hurt business and both guys are compromised at this stage of the fight. Yeah, both guys are compromised. Both guys have been beat up. Both guys have done a great job of landing, recognizing what they wanted to get done, and it's showing. This is a very evenly matched fight. Oh, solid kicks are landing. He has most certainly found the range on the feet. Well, we may have the best cut men and women in the business, but I'm not sure they're going to be able to do much with that cut. He continues to widen with every passing strike. And you're fighting a great fight. It's hard to deal with the damage of the cut while dealing with the level of the fighter in front of you. Right now, you've got to do something different to try and change the way that this fight is playing out. Huge block there. All right, so you see some redness on that calf. Maybe he's starting to slow down a little bit. It looks like he is. It's starting to really hurt him. Under three minutes now to go on the round. Wow, strong roundhouse kick there. You know, when guys start to tell you, kick me here again, they start to posture. That means that what you're doing is actually taking effect on Man, he keeps on coming with these shots to the liver, looking to buckle him once again. Certainly buckled him earlier in the fight. He knows he's hurt there. Oftentimes, it takes just one to get his opponent down to the canvas. Oh, another beautiful body shot there. You see the damage starting to accumulate. Maybe some defense would be wise at this point in the fight. I think so, John. You can't just get beat up to the body. It doesn't show itself right away. It takes time whenever you're beating somebody up from the body and working your way up to the head. But right now, we're starting to see the damage, and you see it not only in the body, but in the reaction of the opponent. Well, eventually, you know he's going to turn this defense into offense, but he's certainly doing a nice job on the defensive end thus far. They talk about the feeling out process. He's getting his opponent's timing. Now he's blocking everything. Expect counters as we go forward. Lee's blocking well now. Nice job to protect that already damaged nose as he raises the guard. Straight right hand, no good. All right, so another nice strike to the thigh. Some bruising starting to develop, and that could render his opponent. Oh! And the front kick is there. Nice job by Luke. Oh, a great block there. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Well, no denying the durability on the other side, but at this point, you just got to find that kill shot and get him out of there. A lot of times that comes with reps, that comes with taking your time. You get excited and you want to finish him because you think it's right there, but at times you just overswing and you miss a lot. He needs to slow down if he wants to get his opponent out of this fight. Lee's swelling now around the jaw area, so we'll keep an eye on that as this fight continues. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively, protecting his head, raising the guard, and really frustrating the offensive fighter. Lesson one in boxing class, hands up, chin down. Oh! Oh, he lands a big left hand. Beautiful leg kick lands. He landed another nice leg kick there. Well, you know he's tougher than I am, right? But this man has absorbed so much damage upstairs that I wouldn't be surprised to see the referee calling the doctor soon. But at some point, you got to take a look at it. He's so bruised. He's so battered. He's so swollen. And credit to his opponent for finding a route to victory and staying on it. He's dominating this fight. Good round. All right, there's the horn. The round is over, but not before he was cut on his nose from the strikes in that round. Back to the stool. Cut man is in. Should be able to shut that cut and prevent it from becoming an issue moving forward. But, of course, as soon as he gets struck in that next round, it could open back up. All right, let's check out some of the action DC and how about the punching acumen by that fighter in that previous round. He does not waste anything. He does not loop punches. Everything's tight. Everything's precise. He's a sniper. We always talk about how he's a sniper. He is a sniper. 
and it showed in that exchange that allowed him to drop his opponent. You ready? You ready? Third round underway. All right, so next round underway here. Oh! Get you some replays now. Certainly a lot for our replay guys to work with in the truck. This was a clinic tonight in terms of mixed martial arts acumen in every realm of the game. A full-on display of all of his skills. He did everything in this championship winning performance. He used his wrestling. He used his elbows. He used his pace and pressure to really wear down his opponent so that he can get his hand raised. All right, let's get it inside of Bruce Buffer. He has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at 25 seconds of round number three. We're playing the winner by knockout and new undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Lee. Well, DC, you know how much I love crowning new champions yeah. and when we get to see these men and women realize these dreams, but to do it at heavyweight, man, just incredible to see this guy realize a UFC title. And you look at the emotion on his face. You can tell that this is a dream that he has had for a long time. And now it is realized. Congratulations to the champ and his entire team. And best of luck trying to defend it, oh, by the yeah, way. Oh, yeah, man. This is volatile. Look, they got a whole bunch of hungry wolves lining up to take that belt.